Welcome to SRAM Technical Communication. Today we will be guiding you through the maintenance and service procedures for dual position air. Let's get started by taking a look at the tools and materials you'll need to complete the service. First, to protect your eyes and hands, be sure to wear safety glasses and nitrile gloves during the entire service process. Next, you'll need a Schrader valve tool. Then, a socket wrench with a 24 millimeter socket. Notice how our socket base has been machined or ground flat. This will allow for the best contact between the socket and the fork part. You'll also need a torque wrench. Next is a pair of high quality snap ring pliers. You'll want to use a pair with larger diameter tips. Then you'll need a sharp pick with either a 90 degree or straight tip. For greasing parts, use liquid O-ring PM600 military grease and an applicator brush. For cleanup, use isopropyl alcohol with a lint-free rag. Of course, you'll want to be sure that you have all of the proper replacement parts. The dual position air service kits can be found in the 2011 RockShox Spare Parts Catalog, which is available online at www.sram.com. Now that you are familiar with the tools and materials you need, let's move on to servicing your dual position air system. At this time, we are going to assume you have already removed the lower legs of your fork. If you haven't, you can find instructions for lower leg removal as well as installation in the 2011 RockShox Technical Manual, which is available online at www.sram.com. Remember, before starting any disassembly of an air fork, including lower leg removal, you must remove all of the air pressure from the fork. Step 1. Remove the air cap from the spring side of the fork. Step 2. Use a pick to remove the knob retention o-ring from the inside of the travel adjust knob. Then remove the knob. Step 3. Use the Schrader valve tool to depress the Schrader valve core while pushing the air shaft up and down several times to make sure that all of the air pressure has been released. Step 4. Use the Schrader valve tool to remove the Schrader valve core. Step 5. Use the socket wrench with a 24mm socket to loosen the air top cap. Keep constant pressure on the socket as you turn it so that it doesn't slip and damage the fork. Unthread the top cap completely, then remove the entire top cap assembly from the fork. Set the top cap assembly aside. Step 6. Push the air shaft into the upper tube. Leave just enough of the shaft to expose so that you can grab onto it. Remove the snap ring located at the bottom of the upper tube. Step 7. Pull out on the air shaft and remove the air piston assembly from the fork. In step 8, we are going to remove and replace the o-rings from the air assembly. Before we do, let's discuss the best practices for replacing o-rings so you don't damage your fork components. When you remove outer o-rings, use your index finger and your thumb to squeeze the o-ring out of its gland. Then use your other hand or a pick to pull the o-ring off. For inner o-rings, it's best to use a sharp pick to pierce the o-ring slightly and pull it from its gland. By piercing the o-ring slightly, you are able to remove it without damaging the gland. To install new o-rings, simply push or roll them into their glands. After installing external o-rings, check to make sure that they are not twisted in the gland. If an o-ring does get twisted, remove it, lightly reapply grease to it, and reinstall it. Let's continue with step 8. Remove the air seal head from the air shaft. Remove the inner and outer o-rings from the air piston. Then remove the inner and outer o-rings from the air seal head. Apply a small amount of grease to all of the new o-rings and install them. Step 9. Apply a liberal amount of grease to the air seal head internal o-ring 
Then reinstall the seal head onto the air shaft with the flat side of the seal head oriented toward the air piston and top out bumper. Then use a brush to apply a liberal amount of grease to all of the o-rings. The air shaft. and the inside of the air tube. Step 10. Insert the air assembly into the upper tube. Step 11. Push the air shaft into the upper tube. Again, leave just enough of the shaft exposed so that you can grab onto it. Install the snap ring into the groove at the bottom of the upper tube. Check that the snap ring is fully seated by rotating it back and forth a couple of times. Then pull the air shaft to its full extension. Step 12. Remove the o-ring from the top cap. Apply a small amount of grease to a new o-ring and install it. Step 13. Apply a small amount of grease to the top cap assembly shaft, top cap threads, and top cap o-ring. Step 14. Insert the air cap assembly into the top of the upper tube. You may need to gently rock the top cap assembly as the shaft contacts the air piston in order to get the shaft to engage with the inner o-ring of the air piston. Step 15. Thread the top cap into the upper tube. Then use a torque wrench to tighten the top cap to 7.3 newton meters or 65 inch pounds. Step 16. Lightly grease the new Schrader valve core, then use the Schrader valve tool to install the core into the top cap until it bottoms out. Do not over tighten the valve core as this may damage it. Step 17. Install the travel adjust knob onto the top cap so that the knob can rotate through its full range of adjustment. Install the adjuster retention o-ring onto the air valve and use a pick to push it all the way to the bottom of the travel adjust knob. The final step is to use a mild degreaser or isopropyl alcohol with a lint-free rag to clean the fork. Once you reinstall the lower legs, turn the travel adjust knob to the full travel position and pressurize the fork. Then, reinstall the air cap. This concludes the dual position air service procedure. Thank you for watching.